Hi, Glenn. Morning, Glenn. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm all right. What's on your mind? I just wanted to compare the way that John Howard handled the protests about gun reform with the way that Rockcliffe handled Saturday's protests. Were you at the pro- were you at the were you at the protest? No, sadly, I live too far away. I would have loved to have gone though. Um, right. Yeah, I was I was very happy when I watched it on the news, and I've also noticed on YouTube it wasn't just on the Tasmania news; it was on the Adelaide news. Yes, it was Australia everywhere. News. Yep. It was across Australia wide. This isn't just hurting the Liberal Party. In Tasmania, this is hurting the Liberal Party Australia wide. Well, in Liberal parties, Liberal parties hemorrhaged already on the mainland, hasn't it? Oh, exactly. Um, but yeah, John John Howard went to the protest and he mounted his case. The crowd booed, they jeered, but he, he made a, he made his case. The public respected it. He then went to the polls. The public voted. They agreed with Howard. And yeah, that that won Howard a lot of respect the yeah. way he handled it. Yeah. Rockcliffe on Saturday didn't turn up. Didn't make a thing. He, he sent a few backbenchers to make speeches and. And their response was ridiculous. Their response was, there's always protests when stadiums are built. No, there's not. When Marvel Stadium was built in Melbourne, there was no protest. And the reason is because the taxpayer did not pay for Marvel Stadium. It was paid for by the private sector. And the AFL then ended up buying it. They didn't get the taxpayers yeah. to buy the whole thing. Taxpayer funding, taxpayers paying yep. for stadiums is not popular. There's well, no votes it. in it. Well, we've got to, we've got to have them. We, we've got to find out, Glenn, what's in this document that we uh, we gave our uh, souls away to. That, uh, that's what we've got oh. to look at, isn't it? We've got to find out. It, can, can, we extricate us, can we extricate our, ourselves from this uh, agreement or not? That's what we're going to have to I find hope. out. I hope so. I, I think the government will be better off to say, you know what, you either give us a team or the money that we're, getting, we're currently mm. donating to Hawthorne and North Melbourne We'll spend that on the A-League yeah. and the NRL and the Rugby Union. And Tasmanian football has been in decline for 30 years. You have a look at how many players Tasmania right. was producing 30 years ago compared to now. And the reason why it's declined is because the AFL has neglected it. So, you know what? If the AFL want to treat Tasmania like dirt, we'll just spend the Hawthorne money and the North Melbourne money getting an A-League team yep. in Tasmania, I, I, I a just, Rugby Union yeah. team. Glenn, I just don't understand why we haven't had a, an AFL team. Uh, for, for all this time. You know, Hawthorne was sort of oh. like a proxy team for a while, weren't they? Weren't, weren't the Hawks part of us? Yeah, well, they, they felt, thought, you know, they, they'd throw Tasmania some scraps. I mean, have a look at the last two weeks. Saturdays, North Melbourne played Port Lady in, Adelaide, in yeah. uh, Tasmania on Saturday. North Melbourne was 8-1. to one. It was the worst game of the weekend. Um, this week, they've got West Coast yep. and Hawthorne. Again, the worst game of the weekend. They're throwing Tasmania scraps. And not only are they only throwing Tasmania scraps, but they're making the taxpayer pay for these scraps. You know, both these games would have got terrible crowds in Melbourne because they're terrible games. Um, but but I, I think the problem with the AFL is no one votes on who the AFL CEO is. The AFL CEO is decided by a handful of AFL board yeah, members who are right. part of this little closed group of AFL people. They're all yeah. mates. And, and if 95% of the AFL public and the, the members who pay the $1,000 membership it. don't like McLaughlin, he still can't lose his job. That's it. But when they let in... The yeah, the thing, the, thing, the thing is, you see, the fans want it. The fans want the sport. They want AFL. They have their heroes. Kids grow up with their heroes with the posters on the walls, girls and boys. They want this team. But how we go about it, that's the sticky bit, isn't it, Glenn? How we got this team. You know, gun Absolutely, to the head. But Ransom. Ransom. If you go back yeah. to when the, the Suns and the Giants were introduced into the AFL, the Herald Sun in Melbourne, every year have a footy um, survey. And the question was asked three or four years in a row, should Tasmania have got in ahead of GWS and the Gold Coast? And it was 90% year yeah. after year after year. Yeah. The overwhelming majority of people in Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth, all think the same thing. Tasmania yeah. should have had That's a team it. ahead of those teams. And have, but, but, have, have but, but Glenn, have we sold our souls? Absolutely. We, we should be saying, you know what? You give us a team or we're not going to give you any money for any Melbourne teams. Yeah. This subsidising Hawthorne's going to end. North Melbourne's going to end, and instead we'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll spend the money on the A League and the NRL, something else, and then basketball. And then the want that. Let's spend it on basketball, Glenn. We, well, the, 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 um, the Tasmanian team is selling out in Hobart. If you build a, a basketball study in Launceston, that will sell out too. You, you could have two teams in Tasmania. Both yeah, will have sell out yeah, crowds, all right. and that will further make the AFL decline. And right, the let, AFL don't want that. No. And they will give us a team. All right, but let's see what happens. Let, let's, we've got, I want to see the, f- the fine print on this document that we've signed. That's what we'll see next week. Why. I want your comment why. on that too. Yeah, let me know next week, Lenny. Thanks, mate. Okay. <laughs> Anthony Albanese is in Adelaide. What's he talking about?